Good morning, Hero Wars fans. In this video, I'll be explaining how to train pets, which is surprisingly misunderstood by many people. There are three types of pet training elements, pet soul stones, levels, and items. If you are playing on a low budget, it will take about three years to raise your pet star to an absolute star. To put it bluntly, the task of collecting pet soul stones can be maddeningly difficult, so it is recommended that you decide early on which pets you want to take into battle and concentrate on collecting the soul stones for those pets. The only other way to get your pet's absolute star early is to get the grand prize when you break the pet's summoned egg. Sometimes, like me, you can draw the grand prize in the first four months of play, but the majority of players, even those who have been playing for two years, have never drawn the grand prize. Next, I'll explain about pet levels. Leveling up is the easiest part of raising a pet. The reason for this is quite simple, there are currently only 7 pets in the game. Unlike Heroes, where you have to train 53 people, you only need to share pet potions with your 7 pets, so feeding them is a very simple task. You can train 2 pets to level 130 in one year, so you will hardly feel stressed when it comes to leveling up your pets. Even if you are playing on a low budget, by the time you reach the third year, you will have no use for pet potions. Now, this is an important part of the story, so please get naked in front of your computer monitor, sit up straight and listen carefully. Let's talk about pet items. There are two main types of pet items, those on the left side of the screen and those on the right side. What? What's that? The three items on the left side of the screen are training elements that your pet will need in the battle scene, and the three items on the right side of the screen are bonus statuses that are granted to your master hero. In other words, for pets that you don't take to battle scenes, you should prioritize leveling up the three types of items on the right side of the screen. Only for pets that you take to the battle scene to use the precious chaos particles, there is no harm in leveling up both the left and right side of the screen. In my case, the pet I bring to the battle scene is Fenris, so any of his items can be leveled up on both the left and right sides, and the power-up will take effect immediately. However, in the case of Oliver, even if he levels up the three items on the left side, the Master Astroth will not receive any bonus status. Since there are six pets that are not taken to the battle scene, even if you use the Chaos Particle on the left side of those six pets, the resources will be left unused. Therefore, when using the Chaos Particle, it is best to level up all pets from the right side of the screen to increase the hero's status most efficiently. When leveling up the color of your pet's equipment, you will eventually need to level up both the left and right side, but for items on the left side, I recommend using the later method. After watching this video to the very end, please check your pet list again. I'm sure there are a lot of chaos particles being used for no good reason. This video shows how to power up the stone in the lower left corner of the pet in the Hero Wars Power Simulator. In this video, you can see that the bonus status is granted to the heroes have not been increased at all. I think most players won't take Fenris, Elbus, Mara, Kane, or Merlin to battle scenes, so when you're training these pets, make sure to level them up from the items on the right. Now, it's time for the video to end. If you've never won the grand prize for your pet, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching the video until the last part. I'll see you in my next video.